Yeah, my dad in the street against a heavyweight. I've gone back to the dad. I've punched him a few more times. Five blokes outside my front door. You coming out? One hell of a fucking story. So stay tuned. Andrew McCart, IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. I'm here, we're victorious, but pissed off. Paddy Lacey, Paddy. Say the least. Uh, listen, great fight. Yeah. Uh, six rounds. Fair six rounds. First six rounds, round. but there is that sort of, we all know. Yeah. You break it down. Uh, so basically, they just told us to get there at half four in case of any uh, KO. Get, get yourself ready. You're on round six, which I told everyone. I've text, obviously, 500 tickets I've sold. Everyone get there before six because it could be on. I feel sorry for more of the people out there than myself. Mm. Do you know what I mean? I can take having a bad performance and stuff like that. Obviously, you've got a million excuses. But the fact that all my people have waited for you know, 500 people, you're seeing the amount of people still there, and do you know what I mean? Mm. I'm blessed that so many stayed around. But to go out, at, what time is it now? It's going on midnight. It's midnight now. I've just got out the ring to get the rain. Yeah, fucking quarter. Quarter 12, I just got out the ring, and it's just like I've been here from four o'clock. No one come in and even give me a butty or nothing and just said, yeah, go ahead, you're on a bit later, do you know what I mean? Or we just warmed up and then we're on and then there was two knockouts, we're on again and then no one. Do you know what I mean? We're just waiting, but look, oh, that's my first ever six times. I felt dead fit, but just, um, it is what it is. It is what it is, but you, can you see why on a TV, massive TV show like this, why they they done it? Obviously, um, obviously keep, you, keep your fans here for the main yeah. event and, and stuff like that. There is a reason behind but it. But you want some okay. transparency, don't you, to get yeah. the main for them to say, oh, look, Pad, you've done 500 tickets, so we're probably going to try and put you on as late as possible. Do you know what I mean? So I can tell my crowd, don't be getting any for fucking half four, because if I'm honest, my, my crowd have come to see me and mostly probably beefy as well, do you know what I mean? So they have said, oh, yeah, we'll get there around eight, nine, and watch Tasha, mm. beefy, and then Paddy. But they've had them sat there from fucking four ish. Ah, uh, forward you get the main as soon as the doors open, so I'm good for them more. Because obviously you've so far from the seven, you want to come in, you want to go sharp, you want to look good. Everyone go, right, oh, I can't wait to see him again. But I don't think anyone would be fucking up for coming if you've fucking come that early and leave that late. It goes to show how well your fans are though, because if yeah, they just stick around from four o'clock till what yeah. time is it now? Fucking Midnight, that's, 12, that's, that's, that's seven yeah. hours, six, seven hours they've been in this arena nearly. Yeah. Fucking, it's madness. So I'm thankful in that thing, but... Um, it's a bit of a bitter pill to swallow, a bit of sweet in it, you know what I mean? I'm fortunate I've got that many, but a bit of a shit performance and fucking waiting this long, but mm. obviously I think it's, that, I think it's that obvious. I don't think anyone's expecting me to walk out in that ring after the day I've had them fucking be the best version of me to get yeah. what I mean, but um, yeah, just disappointed. The fight itself then, obviously, Yeah. your first six rounder, how did you feel in there? Yeah, I felt fit, felt sad, forcing it a little bit, but I was always going to force it where I got pissed off, do you get what I mean? Mm. Uh, What's next for you then? Obviously, we all know you're a ticket seller. You, yeah. you, you're winning. You're seven and zero now. You're, yeah. You're clocking up them wins. Yeah, getting up, yeah. You're getting up there more. now. It's almost business time. Yeah. I need more six rounds, more learning fights. Hopefully, not waiting around for seven hours in between, but more learning fights and fucking keep going now. Do you get what I mean? Obviously, what's what's next for you then in terms of tonight? Obviously, fucking hell. Your crowd's I, I, still there. You're gonna go. Yeah. Out well. We've all booked places in this place called Zen Tables and what have you, but to be honest, after the day I've had, I don't even want to go out. But I'm going to have to go out to thank everyone for coming, do you get what I mean? Mm. But I just want to go and fucking be pissed off in my room, but I'll have to go out, that's, that's I've got to thank everyone. The thing is, you're not the only fighter that's been through this, I think there's, there's been Look, a few... let me say this on record, so the Smiths, Stephen, Paul, Callum, and I only seen Beefy when he was coming out. Look, Paul, Stephen went out the ways and said, Pad, switch on here, Joe. You know, this could all, it's been a terrible day, but it can be even worse. If you go out there, you switch off, you're going to get caught, you're going to get hurt, you could just get beat. Do you know what I mean? I think Stephen told the story, he was in Birmingham for a Matt Skelton fight. He said, I'm pad, they've left me afloat. He said, I had to run into the ring at 20 to 12 and do me four rounds because he turned the lights off at 12. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? He said, so, you know, it's happened to all of us and look, they're fucking a different cut of fighter than me, so... Yeah. Well, listen, Paddy, there's going to be one day when you'll be headlining. I fucking hope so, yeah. <laughs> so you'll I be looking at I'll look There'll be some kid in that I changing room. I don't find the kid who's, float, uh, who's a floater like the Smith family and told me to I mean, just to raise me now, but I thanked them for that. The diamonds, the fucking good yeah. stuff. The good stock, people. I do love the Smith brothers and uh, Liam Paul. 
Swifty and obviously Calm as well. But yourself as well, you're, you're a diamond of a man. You've always said hi Sorry. to me. You've always shook my hand every time I've seen you and gave me a cuddle every time I'm in Liverpool. But uh, there's going to be one day I'm going to stay down here. I'm going to go to the Zen table. I'm going to call that after party. <laughs> I, might, I might even bring the missus down yeah, for me. And we'll, we'll definitely Probably get Probably man and we can have some peace camp. There we go. That's what we're talking about, Pad. Listen, Thank you, until the next one, man. Yeah. And hopefully you're out soon and you're on better, better time slot. Yeah. Paddy, thank you so much, brother. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, my dad in the street gets a heavyweight. I've gone back to the dad. I've punched him a few more times. My bloke's outside my front door. You coming out? One hell of a fucking story. So stay tuned.